Hi everyone, I am Devyashri Sriram from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we are going to see about how to configure a file system catalog source in CDGC. Agenda for this session will be what is a file system catalog source, supported file types that we extract into CDGC, and what are the permissions required to configure a file system catalog source, along with the steps to configure a file system catalog source with a demo. So we use file system catalog source to extract the metadata from a Windows or a Linux machine into CDGC. So we can either use a local uh, file system protocol or a remote file system protocol. So we use local file system protocol to import metadata from the files that are located on a local machine that is the secure agent machine or we use remote file system protocol to import metadata from the files located on a remote Windows machine. So the below is the list of uh, structures associated with the file types that we uh, extract metadata from into CDGC. So the file types are Avro, CSV, JSON, and Parquet, okay, and we support uh, the partition structures as mentioned in the table. We also do support uh, extracting metadata from TSV and text file types. Uh, we can also extract metadata from XML and XSD file formats and both are extracted as xml file objects and we can only extract elements and attributes from xml and xsd files we can also extract metadata from the following microsoft excel file types listed here moving on to the permissions required to configure the file system catalog source so we would need uh, access to the windows or the linux file system with the same user account that we used to run the secure agent on. So we need to verify whether the secure agent user has read permissions on the files and execute permissions on the folders. We need not have additional permissions to run data profiles on the file system scanner. So the same permissions which we use to extract metadata will suffice. Now we'll jump on to the demo. So to create a new uh, catalog source, we have to uh, go to metadata command center, click on this new option and the catalog source section will list all the catalog source types available to configure uh, in CDGC. So I'm going to go and find for file system and click on create. So I have already created a, a file system uh, catalog source for this demo purpose so I'll be using the same so uh, I'm using the local file system protocols uh, as I will be uh, extracting the files from the secure agent machine and the path for the files and uh, we can also choose an option as remote file system uh, to extract the metadata from the windows uh, remote uh, machine we have to specify additionally the host user id and password and the path for the windows uh, machine where the files are present to extract yeah so i'm going with local and moving on to the configuration metadata extraction so i'll be specifying a runtime environment to scan the file system so as i have specified the local file system protocol so i am providing the secure agent where uh, the files are existing and i want to extract into cdgc and the metadata change option we can either choose retain or delete so according to the needs like to reflect the changes from the source of the filter that we have configured and in the filter section we can uh, add filter conditions to include or exclude uh, metadata of a file or a folder we can specify the value of the file or the path of the folder and these are the other additional configuration parameters available so this is to extract uh, group elements from hierarchical files and this one is to enable the uh, file type deduction using the extension so if we choose s yes, then the file type will be detected based on the extension of the file if you choose no then the file will be passed to uh, detect the file type and uh, use first row as a header of the delimited file we can choose yes or no and these are the other configuration available so here uh, if uh, there is a new delimiter then we have to enclose uh, in single quotes and specify the same in this uh, parameter 
so these are the uh, default delimiters available as well so coming to the data profiling and quality configuration for the file system catalog source so we can only profile the metadata that i extracted using local file system protocol and the supported file system objects are delimited files and folders so here you have to specify the runtime environment to run the profiling on and we can specify additional filters on top of the metadata filters available so we can uh, include or exclude uh, files or folders uh, from here as well and uh, these are the other parameters available so we can either uh, choose the data profiling to run on full or uh, entire uh, source system or only the changes made to the source system we can also enable the data quality for the file system catalog source specify the runtime environment and uh, like we can create a data quality rule recurrence to the file system data element and run the data quality on top of it we can also preview the failed rows for this one moving on to the data classification so this is to identify and organize data into relevant categories so we can either choose an option to uh, use the class generated data classification or specify the data classification rules that are created in mcc and uh, glossary association to associate the terms uh, like to with the technical assets this will provide a user friendly names to the technical assets so we can specify the threshold of auto acceptance here so this will help to associate a business term to the technical asset automatically or it will recommend business terms for the association with technical assets and we can also assign stakeholders uh, for the uh, catalog source and we can also uh, schedule the catalog source run so once the configuration is complete we can save and run the resource so for the demo purpose i've already uh, ran the file system catalog source metadata extraction profiling classification and glossary association so now let's go ahead and look at the results from uh, the data governance and catalog so this is how a file system catalog source looks in like in cdgc so it lists all the attributes columns elements file system and folders hierarchical fields and files that are extracted so i have scanned a different set of files like tsv text file xml xsd xlsx file formats and it also detects a partition of the parquet file and uh, created as a hierarchical file here and as i uh, did profiling for the csv file so we can go ahead and check the profiling results yeah so we'll be able to see the info data types patterns value frequency which are coming from profiling and as we also enabled uh, classifications uh, generated by clar it also has generated classifications yeah thank you for watching this video and we would love to hear uh, feedback from you thank you